you know, when you think of genius, you immediately think of a human. You think of Einstein or a person like that. And I thought, well, how can photography be genius? But then I realized photography is completely made by humans. It was invented by humans. It's used by humans. It's appreciated by humans. So it's a totally human endeavor. From the 92nd Street Y in New York City, this is the Genius Podcast. In March 2015, 92Y will launch Seven Days of Genius, a week-long inquiry into the extraordinary people and concepts that have shaped our present and are shaping our future. Who or what is genius? And how is genius impacting our lives today? And how will it impact our lives tomorrow? Beginning March 1st, in person and online, 92Y and venues around the world will explore those questions and more with neuroscientists and economists, psychologists, journalists, and clergy. Today we ask the question, what is genius, to world-traveling National Geographic photographer Jody Cobb. I think genius is this combination of creativity and and extraordinary achievement at the same time. And I think photography itself is genius. I mean, imagine a world without photography. You just can't do it. It's, uh, it's just shaped our world now. It transcends borders, languages, cultures. Everyone understands a photograph. And then when you think about how it shaped the world, I think when you think about what you think of when I, when I say certain words or events, when I say Abu Ghraib or the Afghan girl or the moon landing or Iwo Jima or Kent State or any of those, what you actually think of is the photograph of it, the image of it. Those photographs have been, become icons or symbols of the uh, events themselves. Jody Cobb has traveled to more than 50 countries, photographing everything from the life of geishas in Japan to Bedouins in Saudi Arabia. I asked her if any pictures from her own collection capture what she considers the genius of photography. I think the picture that would come to mind for me uh, would be the image that I made of the geisha's lips on a book that I did on the geisha of Japan. And it's just a close-up of her lips. But it's sort of become an icon to me and and to many people about the life of the geisha because you sort of look at it and, and you see those sealed lips and they kind of become a symbol of the of the secrecy and the privacy of a geisha's life. And you're sort of drawn into the picture and you become curious about what it is and you want to know more about the life. And then you can sort of go in to the rest of the photographs and the rest of the project and the book in this case and sort of find out what's behind it and why. But I think think that, that you're just sort of so drawn by the starkness of the image and the way it just sort of stays in your mind. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that that's genius. I mean, it's funny about photography that anybody can take a good picture and anybody can take a, a, a photograph that changes the world. But I think sort of when the genius of it is when the photographer can do it over and over again, and that's nearly impossible. And now, living in the era of Instagram and digital cameras on smartphones, how have those innovations changed how photographers work? Well, the digital revolution has changed everything so dramatically. I mean, photography was always difficult, Um, but now it's democratic. (laughs) I mean, everybody can do it. Um, But again, everybody can take one great picture, but can they do it over and over and over again? Um, and what to me is exciting about that, about that digital revolution is that there's become such an awareness now of photography and such a love for it that it just creates more and more demand for better and better photographs. But I think that the people who are really good at what they do and the genius photographers it's the culmination of their entire 
life, their, all their experience, all their um, creativity, and when it sort of intersects with, that, uh, with the right moment. And, that's, and that moment is there because they've put themselves out there. They've gone where no one else is going and, and doing things that, that no one else wants to do or can do or will do. And, and, and then it sort of all comes together and then makes that, makes that indelible image that lasts forever and, and changes the world. Jody Cobb is a National Geographic photographer who has published several books of her work, including Geisha, The Life, The Voices, The Art. Visit her at jodycobb.com and look for her public appearances as part of National Geographic Live. And for more on Seven Days of Genius, March 1st through 8th, go to 92y.org forward slash genius and stay tuned for more to come.